Mountain Area High School. This is the Warrior News, your place to keep up to date on the latest. Live at 7.44 a.m., the Warrior News starts now. Good morning, Wilson. Today is Monday, October 23rd, 2017. I'm Nathan Fusco-Lamont. And I'm Peter Rivera. This week, our high school will be celebrating Spirit Week, where students and teachers can take part in wearing themed outfits. As you can see, my partner and I are currently taking part in Madden Monday. But anyway, here's the theme for Tuesday. Tootsie Tuesday! Wear your favorite pajamas! We would like to congratulate the Wilson Scholastic Scrimmage team who earned their first victory in the annual PBS tournament in years. Wilson defeated Northampton High School by a final score of 220 to 180. The team will play round two in two weeks. And, and speaking of congrats, the yearbook staff would like to congratulate Williams and Lexi Foltyke for winning their year's cover design contest. Lily and Lexi, be sure to see Miss Girl ASAP. Attention athletes, District PIAA Sports Physicals will be held on Wednesday, November 1st in the high school gym. Physicals begin at 5. Doors will lock promptly at 6.30. Please pick up your PIAA sports physical papers as well as your research papers in the medical room. The WAHS Student Council is once again hosting its Extra Sweet Trick or Treat event at the high school this Saturday from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. This is a great opportunity for little kids to trick or treat in a safe environment. Newspaper Club will meet tomorrow after school in room 212 to plan the next edition of the Echo. Do you have a veteran in your family and would like to submit a picture of them for this year's Veterans Day slideshow? If so, please email the picture to Mr. Crook. The Future Ed Educators Club will have its meeting tomorrow after school in room 310. All new members are welcome. Seniors, all scholarships available can be found online on the Guidance Office webpage through the high school website. A reminder to all ninth graders, the CIT trip will be this Wednesday after the end of fifth period. Sign up for, for the Powder Puff football games are happening now. Sign up for your grade level team before school in the cafeteria. The sign-up fee is $12, which pays for your Powder Puff t-shirt and admission to the game. See Vittorio Marconi if you have any questions. And over the weekend, MJ was present at the last home football game of the season. So let's hear from him. Good morning, Wilson. I'm Michael Jablonski, and I am here at the Wilson football field where the final home game for Wilson's football team has just concluded. It was quite the exciting game. Uh, it started off with the senior ceremonies where members from just about every fall sport came. It was definitely a great experience. We also got to see the band in action today as they played some great music. You really have to listen to some of this. <laughs> Great stuff though. As for the game itself, it was a very back and forth experience with a lot of marquee moments offensively and defensively for the Warriors. But in the end, Bangor would get the victory 28 to 24, putting the Warriors to a 4 and 5 record on the season. And now the big question will remain is how will they finish off their season? And we're going to see because they will be facing Notre Dame on Friday, of course. But until then, Great seeing you all. Hope you're enjoying the start to your week, Wilson. Now we're going to take it back to the desk. Thanks, MJ. That's it for today, Wilson. Be sure to tune in throughout the week for more special broadcasts. To keep up to date with the latest, follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram at Warrior News 15 and on YouTube by searching Warrior News. But until next time, I'm Nathan Fusco Lamont. And I'm Peter Rivera. Have a great day, Wilson.